it's a little over a half an inch and I already faced off the end so let's do the diameter It's dead on, half inch, according to the guesstimator, or maybe a half a thousand thunder. <clears throat> I guess I could get something more accurate. Alright, let's do the traditional scratch to see where we're at. This is too fast. I'm going to take it nice and slow. There's no hurry here. The uh, <laughs> the dye hasn't dried yet. That should be six. But it's not cutting six. Oh, I gotta change the other gear down here. You guys hang on. I forgot to move the slide gear. <clears throat> so, I guess I need to put more dye on here and then we'll try again. All right, I think it's dry enough to give it a shot. We'll, uh, we're just going to try it all over again, see if this is really six. That looks more like it's going to be six. Yes, that's six. It's really good to check with this thing. I could have messed up. Been Terribly wrong for the rest of my life. All right, let's make a nice healthy cut. And get it started. I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to put it in the <laughs> then close the half nuts before I turn on the motor. I made myself a really nice wide thread to release, nice and deep and wide, because I knew this was going to happen really quick. So, anyway, yeah, here we go again. Let's go in just about five thousandths this time. Okay. I gotta stop and think now. Alright, so there we are. That one's cut to 36 thousandths deep and it's not making any more chips, so I'm gonna assume that's, that's it. So now I've got a, a dial indicator set up and I'll turn off the camera and move it and show you. I'm handheld, a little upside down, but that's what I got to do. I'm going to move this guy 83 thousandths. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3. Now back it up and come back again. Hopefully you guys was able to see that. Alright, 
right, so I'm, I'm uh, hopefully zeroed here. I think I'm going to make about a 2,000 deep scratch. That's what I think I'm set for. And it should wind up right in the middle of that red if I did anything right. So keep your fingers crossed because we're fixed to go for it. Can you believe that? Huh? Can you believe that? That is dead center to me. So we're going to cut 36 thousandths deep on this sucker. And uh, then we'll see what we got, huh? I think I'm going to make a nut for this too. If it looks like it's going to work out. Okay? I think <clears throat> that that's cut. I don't believe I'm getting any more chips off. So we'll move on from here. All right, I started making the nut, which means I'm boring a hole in here to get close to four and a half, in, close to point four five zero, so I can bore the last five thousandths or so. We'll see. If I get it made. So you guys have seen the guy drilling a hole in a thing for so I'm gonna let you rest for a minute. Alright, so I finally got a tool small enough to go through the hole. It's time to thread the uh, nut. So I'll back way off back here and make a long start at it just like with everything else. Too fast. That did make a nice scratch all the way through, so let's go after this thing's sticking out a little further than I wanted, but I did that trying to put the little fishtail thing up to the side of it and, and yeah it's a little bit crooked because my my 60 degree angle was a little bit crooked so nothing's perfect here I think it's time to blow the chips out of there and and move the tool if it doesn't. I'm going to make one more pass after I blow all the chips out just to make sure it's not cutting any. Well, I honestly doubt you guys will be able to read the numbers, but I'm going to move this thing 83 thousandths. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, Three. Okay, so that should uh, maybe just a touch short of 83. There. All right. So now I'll cut the other thread. That's the first thread in there. Now we'll cut the second one. I'm not going to do that on camera. You've already watched me cutting the first thread. Okay, I had to go back and cut these threads a little deeper. I didn't have enough uh, depth to them, but now we've got it. Double pass thread, two starts thread, or two lead thread, whatever you want to call it. 
Look at it fit, huh? There you go, and it's not, it's not loose. It fits right. So we're all happy here, happy campers. Let's go see what Bubba's up to. Seems like Bubba and Cooter going down in the woods hunting. Sure enough, they got lost. They didn't know where the heck they was at and stuff. Bubba turns to Cooter and says, well, Cooter, he says, uh, I reckon that what you usually do when you get lost is they fire three shots in the air. And then somebody will know you're in trouble and they come find you. So they do that. They walk on the ways, wait a while, and they don't hear nothing out of nobody. Bubba says, well, I guess I reckon we better fire another three shots in the air. They, they did it. Still don't hear nothing from nobody. After a while, they're still walking on there. And Bubba says, you know, I reckon we ought to do it again. Cooter says, well, I sure hope somebody <laughs> finds us pretty soon. He says, we're jang here out of airs. Well, that's all, folks. Uh, Y'all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And above all, remember, keep on keeping on. Bye now.